Let's write the name for Ni3PO42. So first off, we have nickel. Nickel is a metal. In fact, it's a transition metal. And then PO4, this is a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion. So when we have a metal and then nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. So we need to take charge into account when we write the name, especially with nickel because that's a transition metal. So first we write the name for Ni, that's nickel. And then we'll write the name for the polyatomic ion, this phosphate ion here. So you either memorize that PO4 is phosphate or you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions if you're allowed. So we have our phosphate ion, lowercase p. And then because we have this transition metal, we need to think about the charge on nickel. So phosphate, the whole thing here is three minus. And we have two of them, two times three minus, that gives us six minus. For nickel, we need to have a six plus to balance that out, to have a net charge of zero. So three times the two plus, that would give us six plus, that would balance everything out. So now we'll take this two plus and we're gonna put Roman numeral two between nickel and phosphate. And that makes the name for Ni3PO42, nickel two phosphate, and the two, that refers to this two plus up here. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know because of this two here, nickel's gonna be two plus, and you need to balance the charges out. There's a link in the description if you need help with that. This is Dr. B with a name for Ni3PO42. It's nickel 2 phosphate. Thanks for watching.